Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Prime Reviews. So today, we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series number 90, Forger Class, Age of Extinction, Galvatron. And uh, yeah, I absolutely love this figure. I really, I really dig this one. I really love the look of this guy. Um, some things about this figure that I'm not a big fan of, but um, but anyway, before we go into de a deep detail with this figure, uh, I'm gonna take a look at the packaging right here. So we have a nice CGI image of Galvatron, looking all looking awesome. I love this design for Galvatron. The Studio Series number 90, Galvatron, he's indeed a Decepticon, well, he is a Megatron. <laughs> he's from Age of Extinction. You got the, uh, the Hong Kong battle scene backdrop right there. Transformers logo on the side, Hasbro, Takara Tommy Generations, Age of Extinction on the top, and you have number 90, Galvatron's face, Studio Series, Forger Class, and again, Hasbro, please, why, why the Autobot symbol again? This shouldn't be a thing, please, can you fix this? I need you guys to fix this, please, I'm, I'm begging you, I'm begging you to fix this. He's not an Autobot, he's a Decepticon, okay? We all know this. <sighs> <laughs> and of course, a few full image there of Mega. Uh, uh, bleh, I nearly said Megatron. Well, technically he is Megatron, but he's Galvatron. And you have the obligatory product shots on the back of the box. You have the robot mode, the alt mode, 32 steps of transformation. He is indeed an officially licensed Freightliner, and uh, his name is Galvatron. The Subcon symbol, Age of Extinction. You know the Hong Kong battle right there, Hong Kong pursuit, and then the bio which says. Galvatron leads the KSI Decepticons into Hong Kong to gain control of the seed. So, uh, yeah, very cool. Very, very cool bio right there. That's true. It's true. But anyway, so that's it for the box. And we shall move on to the review table and see what the big deal is for this figure. So let's get it on, man. Let's go. And here we have Galvatron fully transformed into his... Freightliner truck mode and a very cool looking truck in my opinion. I've always loved the design for this truck mode and the shape of it is actually pretty accurate to what to what we saw in the movie. Um, the only thing I really don't like about this truck mode is the visible feet on the back. That 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 is a little bit of an eyesore and uh, that that's yeah unfortunately there is nothing else that you can do uh, with the feet. Um, they're they're just they're just there, you know. It, it's it's yeah, you know. It's it is what it is, you know. We we, we you know we can't really unpeg the feet, you know. We we can't pop off the feet, you know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, they're pinned to place, you know. I yeah. There's there's no way to do it, but um, but. The, the front part of the truck cab, you know, is actually very solid and, and, and when I when I lift this figure up, he's actually quite heavy. So um, yeah, he definitely has some weight to him, so that's good, that's really good. And uh, yeah, nice silver paint right here on the sides, nice silver paint on the front as well, nice metallic paint for the, uh, for the headlights, a little bit of blue right here, a lot of black right here for the windows and the windshields, and a little bit of blue on the top right there. And uh, I wish the silver paint could uh, finish right here. You know, if they painted the silver paint right here, uh, uh, that would have it would have looked complete. You know, but yeah. And uh, of course, you can see his face. His face is just literally right there. <laughs> so yeah. But um, yeah, this is, this is the only thing that I really don't like. If you ignore this, then 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 the truck mode looks good. But since you can't really ignore that, you know, it's yeah. But, um, but all in all though, I do think that this is a better figure compared to the original Voyager, in my opinion. Anyway, this one has better engineering and uh, it's, it's way more screen accurate, so yeah. And uh, yeah, and, you know, in the pictures he looked more brown than grayish, but in hand, he's, he's definitely the normal gray plastic, so no, no, no issues there, so yeah. And he feels good, he feels good in hand. You know, he doesn't have any cheap plastic on him. It's It actually feels good in hand, so, yeah. So, let us uh, run through uh, the accessories right now. And uh, he comes with the uh, 
the missile racks, the, the missile pods right here. Only one of them. One of them, yes, only one. He only includes one. And of course, he includes the uh, the hand cannon right here, which is decked out in silver paint, which is really nice. I like that. So you can store these in, in vehicle mode. There is, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me zoom in. There is, there, there's a slot right in there. I'm not sure you can see it. There is a slot right in there. If you can't, yeah, there's a slot right in there. And then this tab will tab in right in there. So it's a little bit hard to do. So I normally just plug it from the bottom right here. So yeah, there we go. There we go. There you can see the slot right in there. So just plug in the gun right into that slot. If we can, if we can. Tab it in. I said tab it in. Tab it in. There we go. I think I think we got it tabbed in. I, I think so. I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I I think we got it. I think we got it. There we go. I think we got it. I think we got it. There we go. That is how you store the the hand cannon uh, in, onto the alt mode. You know there is another way to store the hand cannon. You know you can use the uh, th that that tab right there you can tab it on this to the slot right here if you really want to but you know you know the missile racks they're meant to plug into the sides of the of the truck mode well it, we had two of them then it would look then it would have looked more complete but there you go you can tab in right in there if you really want to but you can there is another way to store this missile rack right here you know to keep everything clean you have to untab this panel right here untap this panel there's a little, little there's a tab right here and that's meant to go into this this notch right here it's just just plug this in plug this in there we go now everything is nice and hidden away and it doesn't impede the rolling so which is good which is good so yeah Oh no, though he looks good, you know. Um, it's just the, the the back the back of the truck mode that 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 yeah. But I don't really care that much about the back of the truck mode, you know. I care about the front, and the front looks good in my opinion. So yeah, there we go. So uh, let us bring in some size comparisons. Here is Galvatron compared with the other Studio Series Age of Extinction Decepticons. We have Lockdown, Stinger, and KSI Boss. I don't have Shadow Raider and KSI Sentry, so I can't really show the those, you know, in this comparison shot. So sorry, I only have four Age of Extinction Decepticons from the Studio Series line in total. So yeah, four out of six. Four out of six, but. Hopefully, we'll get more Age of Extinction Subguns down the line in the Studio Series, but in the Studio Series toy line. But as of now, we only have four right here in this shot. But uh, moving on to the next set of comparisons. Just because here we have Galvatron compared with the Age of Extinction Autobots from the Studio Series line. You know, we only have two of them so far. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get Crosshairs. You know, well, Crosshairs from Age of Extinction, but they label. The movie that he's from is The Last Night, but it's the same design, so it, 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 uh, Studio Series Crosshair still counts as an Age of Extinction Crosshair, I don't know, but anyway, um, but yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yes, Grimlock is really huge compared to Galvatron, and I think that that scales pretty well, actually, I, yeah, I think that, that, that that's a good scale between Grimlock and Galvatron, so yeah, and uh, of course, here we have Helicopter Drift, and uh, hopefully we will get a Bugatti Veyron Drift soon in the Studio Series line. But uh, moving on to the next comparison for today. Here is Galvatron compared with his wave mate, Thundercracker. And here we have Galvatron compared with the other movie Megatron design... Um, blah, 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 blah. Here we have Galvatron compared with the other movie Megatron figures that I have. You know, uh, from the Studio Series line, and of course from the Last Night toy line. And you have Re Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, we have Movie 1 Megatron, Dark of the Moon Megatron, and of course the Last Night Premium Edition Voyager Class Megatron. And uh, yeah, you know, four of these are Studio Series figures, um, so I hope that Hasbro makes a Studio Series The Last Night 
Megatron. I mean, this figure is fine, you know, on its own, you know, it, it's perfectly fine, you know, it's actually a really well done figure. It's a pr pretty, pretty accurate to how he, how we saw him in the movie, and uh, yeah, and uh, <laughs> yes. So we just need one more Studio Series Megatron, which is from the last night, and uh, we're done with the collection of Studio Series Megatrons. Unless they make Megatron appear in Rise of the Beast, so... Yeah, but... As, uh, as far as the Babers goes, we just need one more... We need one more Studio Series Megatron toy, and that is from the last night, and then we're done with the Babers Megatron collection. So, yeah! Hooray! So... Moving on to the final size comparison for today! Speaking of which, here we have Studio Series Galvatron compared with the original Forger Class Galvatron from Age of Extinction. And um, I will say, I will, I will say, you know, the original Galvatron toy is actually cleaner in truck mode because there's no big feet sticking out on the back, whereas this one, the the feet is just sticking out a lot right there <laughs> and uh, yeah but all in all though you know I care these two figures this one has def definitely has more weight to this guy because he's pretty pretty hollow and he's a shell former and uh, yeah but I do understand why this is a shell former I do understand it you know because the the, the design does not lend itself to a practical transformation, so I understand why they had to make it a shell former. But I will commend Hasbro for giving this figure a better engineering. You know, it's not a shell former anymore, and that's awesome. That is really, really awesome. And I do like how the the, the truck looks very, very accurate to what we saw in the movie, and it's a more accurate shape. You know, more accurate details and everything. And uh, yeah, I I I, I do. I still, I still like this one. I still enjoy this figure, but I will say, all in all though, I, I do prefer this one. I, I do prefer the look of this truck mirror. It has the more accurate shape. It, yeah, it looks more like a Freightliner truck, this one. This one, not so much, but um, but yeah, there you go. So uh, that is pretty much it for the alt mirror comparisons right here. Actually, one more. Here we have Studio Series Galvatron compared with the other most recent Galvatron toy, which is the Kingdom slash Legacy Leader class Galvatron, and yeah, two totally different Galvatron designs here. One is a uh, the uh, the traditional Canon alt mirror from G1, and of course is the Babers version of Galvatron. You know, they're not supposed to be the same type of Galvatron. It's a different two different types of Galvatrons, but it's still Galvatron. So yeah, I I, I always dig Galvatron. I will always love Galvatron from the bottom, bottom of my heart. I think Galvatron was, is one of my favorite Decepticons in this entire Transformers franchise. And uh, yeah, I, I, I love this guy. I love Galvatron. I will always love Galvatron with all my heart. So, Okay, now we're done with the alt mode comparisons right here. Okay, so we are pretty much done with the truck mount itself. It looks pretty pretty good for the most part until you get to the back here Which has the visible feet and everything so uh, that's the only negative that I have against this figure But on although it looks good the truck mount looks good and I do quite like it and uh, Yeah, so without further ado, let us transform Galvatron into his robot mode so Unlike the film, he doesn't uh, he doesn't split into um, multiple particles of cubes. <laughs> I hated the way he transformed in the movie, but I'm glad that the toys don't do that. So because it's impossible to replicate the particles of cubes thing. So yeah, so let's just get these weapons out of the way, put them off to the side, and we shall get started. So you want to take this panel right here, just flip this around like so, put this around, untap this, put this around, and leave that for now, and you want to take these panels right here from the sides, you want to un untap them, untap them, and just swing this out, there we go, and just untap these panels right here from the sides, untap these panels, and then swing, swing them out, swing them out, there we go. You want to split 
the legs right here. You want to bring all this down and you want to bring the foot down like so and bring this around like so. Bring these toes together, tap them together and then flip this up like so and then bring the foot up. There we go. And you want to bring all this around and this will just come down just like that and this will just wrap around the leg right here so uh, this tab right here is supposed to go behind the wheel to keep that locked into place just go behind the wheel like that and there we go and then bring this down just like that and you want to bring the, you, want to, you, want to, you want to flip in this wheel to here so that is going to be very very difficult oh wait no you have to untap this panel first before you flip this down so now we can flip this down there we go so there we have a leg all done and ready so you do the same thing on the other side so just bring this down like so and you want to bring down this toe and just put these toes together there we go to make one foot and you want to flip this wheel up like so and then bring this down like so bring this down like so and you want to bring this down on this hinge like that and flip this to the back and then make sure that tab is behind the wheel and there we go and then bring this panel down and there you have the legs all done and ready so i need to raise up the camera so that you can see what i am doing for the upper floor upper section and there we go so let us continue on with the transformation and uh, you want to flip this panel around just like that and you want to bring this crotch piece down like so actually no before you do that you want to make sure that this is flipped up like that all the way and now you have the clearance to flip this down like so and clip that into place and there you go so now you want to take these things and just flip this around and and untap them flip them around just like that you want to make sure that this goes over like that and then the this is on a double hinge you want to bring this down just like that there we go so there is a little little notch right here cut out for this tab to go into so just Bring all this down all the way and then just make sure that that is connected to each other and there you go so you have the backpack all done so now you want to take the head and rotate it 180 and bring the arms around and that will tap in right there bring the arms around tap that in right there and unfold the arms rotate them around unfold the arm rotate it around and close up the chest like so like that and I think we're done are we done yes we are done with the transformation for Galvatron so there you go there we have Galvatron fully transformed into his robot mode and he looks pretty good I do quite like this figure I really dig him I do quite like him and uh sitting too far away from the camera <laughs> so yeah really well done figure in my opinion looks good looks really good yeah very very nice very nice looking so let's look at that head sculpt right there whoa look at that head sculpt very nicely done head sculpt i love the silver paint that they put on it love the, uh, the metallic blues right here and the red for the eyes yeah it looks phenomenal i love the head sculpt really well done uh the chest love the detail for the chest you know with all the cables and everything with the silver paint with the little bit of coppery color and uh, on the chest as well a little bit of blues and uh the metallic blue on the arms as well more silver paint on the arms and yeah the thighs with the silver paint and then the shins have the silver paint and uh yeah he looks really really good i i have no complaints about this robot mode um i do wish he had more silver paint you know to make it more more shinier and more gorgeous looking 
But other than that, he looks good. He looks very, very screen accurate. Definitely way more screen accurate than the original Forger class version. And uh, yeah, you can see his backpack. Not that much of a backpack, you know, he's pretty, pretty clean of a transformation. Yeah, the transformation is pretty clean. And they actually molded in the other side of the hole. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I like that. And of course, they molded his butt. And uh, yeah, yeah, very nicely done, in my opinion. Very, very well done. Very, very well done. So uh, as far as the articulation goes, the head it can rotate a full 360 can it can't really look up can't really look down the shoulders can rotate the full 360 they can move in and out there's a bicep swivel there's an, uh, double jointed elbows and of course he does have a waist swivel legs can move up that far can move back that far and legs can move out only 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 that far on, only that far yeah only that far and uh you do have a little bit of swivel right here at the hip. You do have a knee joint over 90 degrees of bend. And of course you do have a little bit of ankle tiltage right there. So yes, he does have an ankle tilt, which makes me really, really happy. So, so yeah. So unlike the original Voyager, this one has the addition of a waist swivel, so which is good. And he doesn't have the weird hip joints that the original had. So. So on all, the articulation on this figure is definitely better than the original Voyager. So yeah, yeah, he looks, wow. I really like this figure. I really, I really, really do. I really do, man. He looks so good. He looks so, so freaking good. I, uh, man, whoo, oh, I'm just gushing over this figure because I've been waiting for ha I've been wanting Hasbro to do a Studio Series Galvatron and they finally did it! Ah! They finally did it! Oh my gosh! I feel so happy right now. I'm, I'm so proud of Hasbro for giving me a proper Studio Series Galvatron and I... Oh man. Uh, well done Hasbro. Well done Hasbro. You did a really good job. You really did a good job. You guys did a good job with this guy! Man! Ah, oh, man. Woo! So, let us, you know, deal with the weapons for the robot mode. So, of course, the hand cannon can plug onto his hand. I'm just going to put it on his right hand. So, just plug this to his fist, like so. And there we go. He's holding the hand cannon. Uh, it looks a little bit small on him, but uh, it, it kind of works. It, it, it works. Eh, 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 eh. So, yes, but uh, now for the uh, this thing right here, you can plug this onto his uh, his hand, onto his arms. So just plug this in right there. There you go. You can plug that onto his arm, or you can open up his chest. If you don't want to use this, there is a slot right there, and you can just tap this in right in there. So just tap that in. Tap it in. I said tap in. Tap it in. No. I can't see the slot. Ah, oh, it's too dark. It's too dark. Ah, oh, it's too dark. There we go. Tap that in. And then close that up. And there we go. Now you don't have to look at it anymore. Yeah, it's, it's just easily stored inside his body. So, yeah. You can store it in robot mode. So, which is cool. Which is cool. So... Alrighty, so without further ado, let us continue on with the comparisons. And here we have Galvatron compared with the other Age of Extinction Decepticons that we have so far from the Studio Series line. So we have KSI Boss, Lockdown, and Stinger. Again, I don't have Shadow Raider and KSI Sentry, so yeah, I only have four. Yeah, only four of them. Four, four Age of Extinction Decepticons from the Studio Series line, so yeah. I hope they give us Junkie, Two Head, and a proper KSI track soon. Hopefully, hopefully. I'm, I'm praying. I'm praying. Um, but um, but yeah, there you go. So uh, let's continue on with the uh, next set of uh, comparisons. And here we have Galvatron compared with the two Studio Series Age of Extinction Autobots. So we have Grimlock and Helicopter 
Drift, and yeah, Grimlock, uh, Grimlock is definitely bigger than these two. Yeah, Galvatron is shorter than Grimlock, as he should be, because Grimlock is huge in the movie. So, I, I think that scale, uh, maybe Grimlock should be a little bit taller, or maybe Galvatron should be shor shorter, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, yeah, th th there you ha that, that is how Galvatron... Uh, that is how Let's move on to the next set of comparisons. Yeah. And here we have Galvatron compared with the other movie Megatron figures that I have from the Studio Series line and from the last night toy line itself and uh yeah <laughs> man we got five movie megatron designs here so we got four studio series megatrons including galvatron and the last night premier premier edition voyager class megatron and uh yeah yeah i'm really hoping for a studio series last night megatron i'm really hoping i have high hopes for it so yeah all right, so uh, there you, uh, yeah, uh, let's move on to the next comparison for today. Here we have Galvatron compared with his wavemate Thundercracker, with the Kingdom slash Legacy leader class Galvatron. So see how the two Galvatrons look together. And finally, with the original Voyager class galvatron and i will say the studio series is hands down the better mainline movie verse galvatron toy i will say this guy totally destroys this one in my opinion i still enjoy messing with this guy but this figure so much better better articulation you know better range of movement and then uh he's He's a lot more, he's, he's a lot cleaner, you know, because he doesn't have much of a backpack and he has a more, his, his transformation is more refined and it's, it's a clean transformation, it's better engineering, has a lot of silver paint, you know, more than this guy has, because um, I don't think he has a lot of silver paint, yeah. So this one overall is definitely the better version in my opinion. So that is pretty much it for the robot mode comparisons right here. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformer Studio Series Voyager Class Galvatron. And uh, yeah, very, very well done figure in my opinion. The robot mode looks really good. The truck mode looks good until you get to the back of the truck mode. <laughs> The back of the truck mode is not too good looking because the feet are just blatantly visible and uh, yeah, it, it, it's pretty much an eyesore um, for people, you know, who have this figure and uh, yeah, it's quite unfortunate, you know, he's, yeah, that, that the truck mode is not that clean looking at the back, but all in all though, this guy has better engineering compared to the original toy, the original toy was just a straight up shell former and this guy has a lot of sewer paint around him I wish he had more sewer paint but whatever what what sewer paint what uh, you know the amount of sewer paint he has is, is a really good amount so he, he, he looks nice you know nice with the sewer paint uh, the hand cannon it looks a little bit small on him but it works it, it works it kinda kinda works um but uh you know, the transformation is nice, it's easy, it's smooth, it's enjoyable, so yeah, it's uh, he's definitely a fun figure to mess with, and overall, he's definitely the better version of Age of Extinction Galvatron in, 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 in from the mainline. I, 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 I will say that this is the, the best mainline Age of Extinction Galvatron that we could ever get from Hasbro, so yeah. But that's just me, that's just my opinion. If you think the original version is better, hey. You like what you like, you don't like what you don't, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so if I were to rank this guy from a scale of 1 to 10, I'm gonna give this guy a good, uh, 9 out of 10. So, if, if the truck mode was super clean and, you know, the back, if, if, if they had something else to do with the feet, you know, in order to make the truck bed look good, um, then he would have been a 10 out of 10, but since... The truck mode is not perfect, 
It has the feet sticking out at the back. He's a 9 out of 10, unfortunately. And of course, he needed he needs more silver paint, you know, to make it more shinier, to make it more gorgeous looking, but he still has nice overall detail. He looks more screen accurate than the original toy. And uh, yeah, all in all though, very, very well done figure in my opinion. Yeah, 9 out of 10 is a really good score for him. So yeah, solid, very, very solid. And uh, yeah, I, I like him. I do quite dig him very, very much. Yeah, so. Alrighty, so uh, now I got this guy from My Toy M Corp. That's where I got it. Um, if you want to get this Galvatron toy, um, hunt him down somewhere. You know, go to your stores, go to your favorite stores, online or whatever. I don't know. I don't care. So, <laughs> but good luck though. If you want to get this Galvatron, good luck on getting him. So, yeah. But um. Alrighty, so uh, that is pretty much it for today's video review. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, click that notification bell icon down below as well so that you will know when my new videos are up and ready. And you can always check out my Studio Series Reviews playlist for any videos you may have missed. I'll post a link to that playlist in the description down below. And I think that's pretty much it for me to say. So there you have the Transformers Studio Series Number 90, Forger Class, Age of Extinction Galvatron, and this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out to all the one, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah! Greetings, Transformers fans. My name is Alita One. I would like to thank you for watching JJ Prime Reviews. If you would like to see more reviews, live unboxings, or even tutorials on the channel, hit the subscribe button and smash that bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded on the channel. Thank you, and see you next time. Till all are one.